Right now, let's take a look back at the best bluff of WPT Season 10. Over the course of WPT history, Bay 101 Casino in San Jose, California has seen its share of memorable moments between poker pros and local amateurs. Last year's event was no exception and home to the best bluff of season 10 between WPT Tour regular Joe El Paya and local player Moon Kim. The groundwork for the bluff was laid in the previous hand when Joe called the clock on Moon. Hey, the clock, please. In a hand that Joe wasn't even playing in. El Paya, the brass moved there. Feeling rushed by the clock, Moon let Joe know that payback was coming. I'm calling clock on you too, man. Don't worry about it. If I ever take too long, feel free. He's targeting El Paya now. Little did anyone know, Moon found his target immediately after. In a hand that saw Joe smash the flop with top pair and Moon completely missing his, Moon took his shot with a check raise. I think he is steaming because the guy called the clock on him the last hand. Moon let out on the turn and was called by Joe. Going to the river card, there was no card in the deck that could win the hand for Moon. Only firing a third bullet into the pot could do it for him. A hundred thousand dollar flax he's putting out there, and he's essentially setting El Paya all in right here. With absolute zip and pip. That deuces? You got aces with the king ticket. You'll pay that off, but you can't fold his hand. You just don't think amateurs are gonna make bluffs of this size. With his continued aggression, Joe El Paya lays it down. Moon Kim showed that even an amateur player can pull off a fast one against the top pro. And Moon Kim is gonna show the bluff, and he's gonna put the salt in the wound. Not a good fold. I got bluff, boys. Stone bluff by the Moon Man. And in doing so, created one of the best moments of season 10.